The RPG-30 is one of Russia's more advanced disposable anti-armor weapons. Developed in the early 2000s by Bazait, it was designed to overcome reactive armor and active protection systems. It entered service in 2012 and has seen extensive use in fighting in Ukraine. The P753 RPG Kriuk or Hook is a 105mm fin and spin stabilized rocket propelled munition with a tandem heat shaped warhead. The RPG 30 overcomes ERA and APS by using a 42mm IG 30 decoy projectile, which is believed to be inert. This can be seen in a secondary thinner tube running along the side of the weapon. The precursor decoy causes premature activation of the ERA or the APS and allows the main warhead to exploit the gap in the tank's protection. The theory being that the ERA will be spent and the target's APS takes some time, perhaps half a second, before it can engage again. This slow motion clip from a Vietnamese news program shows the delay between the rockets when firing. The RPG-30 uses the PG-30 tandem heat warhead, similar to the PG-27 used in the RPG-27. It can reportedly penetrate up to 750mm of rolled homogenous armour, and up to 650mm of armour after ERA. Effective range estimates vary, with the average suggesting 200m. The weapon's sights are simple and consist of a folding front ladder and an aperture rear sight. There does not appear to be the provision for mounting either day or night optics, and flipping up the rear sight also cocks the weapon. The disposable tube is made of aluminium with a fiberglass outer layer. Sources suggest it weighs around 10.3 kilograms or 22.7 pounds, and has an overall length of just over 1 meter or 44.7 inches. Unlike other Russian weapon systems, few videos of its use have been shared by Russian state media or Russia's defense exports corporation, Rosabron Export. The ongoing war in Ukraine, however, has provided us with our first real look at the weapon in action. As soon as the Russian invasion was launched on 24th of February, RPG-30s began to see use with Russian forces. By late February and early March, imagery of captured examples began to be shared on social media. This was quickly followed by imagery of captured examples, most notably from the column of Tiger M armoured infantry mobility vehicles in Kharkiv. Here's a photo taken on around the 27th of February of the equipment captured from the convoy, including an RPG-30. A photograph of a further two captured RPG-30s appeared in April. Another example was photographed in Donbass in early May. Later in May, a photo of a Russian soldier posing with one was shared on social media, and in September, during the Ukrainian offensive, significant caches of weapons were captured. This photo is said to be from Kherson. And this short clip from Balaclia, filmed around the 10th of September, shows a large number of captured small arms and light weapons, including a couple of RPG-30s. We can see the same RPG-30 in this slightly earlier clip, filmed at the same location. In late August, we got our first brief look at the RPG-30 being fired in a montage of weapon systems in a video said to be from the VDV. Earlier in mid-August, a sort of unboxing video was shared, giving us a good look at how the weapons are packaged, and at some of the markings on the side of the weapon, including basic operational instructions. Most recently, some further video of the RPG being fired on a Russian Western Military District range also surfaced, giving us a good look at the weapon in action. Here's the clip in full.
Of course, the weapon is designed to be simple to use, and anyone with training on similar shoulder-fired disposable anti-armor weapons can operate it. While it's been said that its widespread use in Ukraine is somewhat ironic, given that Ukraine doesn't operate any APS-equipped tanks, the weapon is still useful against less sophisticated ERA, which is fitted on most Ukrainian tanks. Thanks for watching. There aren't many videos about the RPG-30 on YouTube, and I thought this would be a useful topic to cover. Don't forget to check out our other videos about the weapons being used in Ukraine. There's a dedicated playlist of those linked at the end of this video. You can also find out more over at thearmorersbench.com in the accompanying blog for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please help us with YouTube's algorithm by sharing the videos with friends and anyone that might be interested. If you'd really like to support the channel, please do consider checking out our Patreon page where we have a number of perks, including early access to all of our videos. Thanks again for watching. Catch you next time.